Thank you, Governor. Um, just want to remind everyone about the new home screen and login that we launched last Friday. Um, as of Tuesday, we're pleased to announce we had over 24,500 of our claimants able to register and use that new interface. And the new chat bot that's along with that, over 3,000 of you were able to take advantage of that and use it for to get information for yourself. And our tutorial videos had 500 views. So please know that those resources, the chat bot and the tutorial are all out there for you. The new look is hopefully you're finding more user friendly and more secure. Just a reminder, once you log in the first time, if you've not had an opportunity to claim benefits yet, make sure that once you hit login, you go down and click here to register. It's about halfway down the page and it's going to require you to set up a more complex password than you're used to. Make it something you can remember so that um, you don't have to do a lot of password resets. Um, that new home screen is um, going to be a lot more modern for you and has commonly used options like your payment request and document upload buttons easily available. Again, the homepage at kcc.ky.gov has information and tutorial videos for you. And this is just one more way we're trying to make sure we keep the, your information safe and make your user experience a little bit easier. I'm um, speaking of keeping information safe and secure. I know we've talked a lot about the massive fraud nationwide related to UI claims. We know that so many of you out there are getting letters notifying you that a claim was filed in your name and that you never filed it. Um, U.S. Department of Labor has now launched a new website to help you sort that out um, because the way these um, the way these false claims are happening are organized criminals are buying information on the internet from previous data breaches. Um, just as a reminder, this is not a breach from our UI system. This is pre-existing breaches like you may have seen in the news from past years related to. It could have been Experian, Target, Anthem, lots of breaches that have occurred. That information is bought and sold every day, and that's what scammers are using to file these claims. So once these are filed, um, they're often filed in multiple states, and the U.S. Department of Labor has put together a website that's a sort of one-stop shop that has links to every single state workforce agency and a way for you to report fraud if you do get reports from multiple states. So that is also linked at our kcc.ky.gov website if you need that access. Now we've spoken over the last couple of weeks about the federal tax break for some UI claimants for the first 10,200 in benefits you drew in 2020. Um, the IRS has announced some good news. If you had already filed your return before that was announced, you do not need to file an amended return at this time. The IRS's current plan is to go ahead and on the back end fix that and issue you a refund of any additional refund or that you may be owed. So you don't need to rush and file an amended return. And um, that's very good news for all of you who may have already filed your tax returns at the federal level. We're getting a lot of questions related to Senate Bill 7, which allows us now to waive um, office error overpayments. Those are ones that it was our mistake, not yours. And you may have gotten benefits you weren't entitled to, and now we can waive those. We know you're anxious to get that process underway. Um, know that once we send out a notice, you will have 30 days under that new law in order to respond. It's not that you have 30 days from passage of that statute. As soon as Office of Unemployment Insurance sends those notices out, we'll give everyone a heads up so you can be looking for it. But for now, sit tight. They're working on it. And you will have the full 30 days in order to um, request any waiver of that overpayment. We've gotten a few questions about virtual appointments and a few people who have had trouble with those. Um, we have figured out that if you have your cell phone spam filter turned on, you may not receive our call uh, because of the system that we use. So make sure if you've got a virtual appointment, check your settings and make sure the spam filter is turned off. 
Um, luckily, last week, there were only 48 people out of our 625 scheduled appointments we couldn't reach. Um, we make every effort to reach out to you, but if you believe you um, could have that filter turned on, please check your phone. Then finally, one last reminder about, not one last reminder, a last reminder today about the um, Career Center's reopening in mid-April that are going to provide in-person UI services. Those will be in Bowling Green, Covington, Elizabethtown, Hazard, Hopkinsville, Lexington, Louisville, Moorhead, Ashland, Owensboro, Paducah, Prestonsburg, and Somerset. Um, you will have to make appointments and we will be using the same platform where you make virtual appointments. Um, watch that kcc.ky.gov website for the launch of that appointment system. And of course, we'll announce it in this weekly update. We are still working out the staffing levels at each one, but the good news is you can also get um, job assistance, um, job training assistance, apprenticeship opportunities, vocational rehab, and adult education services, as well as UI services in these comprehensive career centers. So as we get closer to the opening, we will give you more information about how to make those in-person appointments. That's it for today.